Check it out, y'all. It's the rapper Big Pooh. It's your man Fonte. And we are little brother. Don't change the channel. We are coming back. So, I mean, in case y'all didn't know, we had these guys back on the show a long time ago when they were promoting the listening. And uh, basically, what have you guys been up to since then? Recording, putting out records, touring, doing shows, you know, all that good artist type shit. Right. Uh, can I cuss? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, there we go. No doubt, man. So, how many albums have y'all put out now? I mean, y'all put out a whole bunch of stuff now. I mean, why don't you just go through the discography real quick? Um, listening, the Minstrel Show, Get Back, that's the current album. Put out the Separate But Equal mixtape with uh, DJ Drama, the Justice For All mixtape with um, Mick Boogie, uh, Chitlin' Circuit 1.5 with Koch, Chitlin' Circuit, the regular edition. Um, then he put out the Foreign Exchange solo record. I put out Sleeper solo record. A lot of material, man. Y'all need to get your hands on all that for free or for fee. I really don't care. Put your hands on it. No doubt. Speaking of which, I mean, a lot of artists have different views on downloading and stuff. I mean, what, what do you guys, what's your feel on that, man? Um, um, personally, for me, I'm cool with it. You know what I'm saying? Um, I just feel that as artists now, you know, I think it's just to uh, get our music out to as many people as possible. So it's just like, you know, you know, you, you why why worry about trying to sell 10,000, sell a record to 10,000 people when you can try to tour to 100,000 people, you know what I'm saying? So it's just like, I'm all for it. I'm all, I'm very pro download, not, uh, I um, encourage, you know, cats that uh, have, have never heard of us before to go and download our music, see if they like it. And if they like it and want to support us, then, you know, purchase it. You know what I'm saying? If they don't want to purchase it, then, you know, they may want to come to a show, support us that way. You know what I'm saying? Or if they don't do that, buy a T-shirt, support us that way. You know what I'm saying? If they don't want to do that, get a DVD, support us that way. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, 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 it's plenty of other ways to make your money in this business other than music. And so, uh, you know, we just got to milk all those avenues. Uh, I mean, y'all definitely got the, the the soulful sound and everything. You know, you incorporate the singing into your into the music and everything. Uh, I mean, is there gonna be a singing album coming out anytime soon, or or like album just strictly singing? Um, well, I mean, for me, um, the next project I'm doing, the Foreign Exchange, joined with my man Nicolay. That one is um, about ninety percent singing, like more vocals. Um, also, me and my man Zo uh, out of Detroit, we doing a, a '80s cover EP. But we like covering all our favorite 80s songs, you know what I'm saying? Just stuff that we like to do. Uh, that's pretty much it, though, you know what I'm saying? We just, um, you know, doing what we like to do and, you know, just just put it out there. That's cool. I mean, y'all mentioned that you were on Koch. You know, I know you were on Atlantic for a while. Y'all were on ABB when you first started. And now you're on ABB, but then now you're not. So, so explain what's going on with the record label thing, man. Um, we was actually never on Koch. We just did the one mixtape with Koch. Um, we started out first record on ABB, got picked up uh, by Atlantic through production deal with ABB. Put out the Minstrel Show. Um, left AB, I mean left Atlantic. Did get back on uh, ABB. Now we free. We totally independent. We free of everyone. It's straight Hall of Justice or bust now. You know what I'm saying? That's it. That's all we got. And so, what are the advantages of, of, of being without a label, though? My livelihood is not in the hands of someone who would never understand how I feel when I wake up in the morning and you fucking my shit up. That's the that's the biggest advantage that I, I could ever have. You know what I'm saying? Like, if now, if we fail, we fail because we fail, not because somebody else failed. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So, um, the disadvantages, um, you know, major label-wise is... You know, they cut checks. Uh, independent. Maybe. Uh, maybe they know some people you don't know. Uh, but, you know, at the end of the day, none of that shit is worth the hassle for me. I just want to put out music when I want to put out music and give it to the people how I want to give it to the people and go around the world and see those people and without no red tape. Right, definitely, man. Um, just to get your take on it, um, I think you guys are definitely, you know, known by by a lot of people. You know what I'm saying? Uh, how important to you guys is, is radio play and just you know getting on the the national just pop scene? You know. Um, well, for us, radio playing really that important. You know what I'm saying? We've never been a group that radio has embraced. 
um, you know, uh, we pretty much always done our stuff kind of word of mouth, um, just kind of building up like from the internet and from word of mouth from our shows and just our own promotion. So, um, I mean, I guess if you're a nigga that got shit to get played on the radio, it's important to you. But I mean, for us, it ain't never really been. I mean, we've been surviving this long without radio play. I don't see the shit changing no time soon. So it's just like it's like whatever, really. Uh, also, um, I noticed that you know throughout your, your your career, you guys put like a a sort of like a feel good like like comedy style to your to your records, where you know what I'm saying where you listen to it and you kind of laugh a little bit. And uh, I mean, is that sort of like a um, I mean, would you guys sort of put a stamp on that or, 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 or you know, explain that a little bit? I mean, that's just our personality, man. You know what I'm saying? There's many different facets to our personality, and we just allow all parts of our personality to come through on record. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people, they just, you know, they just want to appear hard or they just want to appear this way or that way. Like, we just put it all out there. You know what I'm saying? So, if we want to do some shit that's funny, we do it. If he want to sing, he sing. You know what I'm saying? If we want to... It, just, it don't matter. We just allow people to actually get to know who we are, you know what I'm saying, instead of putting up a, a wall or putting up a fake persona, you know what I'm saying. Um, get Back, the new album out right now. Uh, we got my man Crisis on there, my man Ill Mind, their production on there, the Non Porter, High Tech, Knots, um, my man Rashid Hadi out of Chicago, Zoe, um, Little Wayne on the album, my man Josie Moe, new artist on HOJ, that's Hall of Justice. He on the album, Darren Brockington, um, he's singing on the album, Dion, homegirl Carlita Duran, she's singing on the record. Um, so go out and get it, man, you know what I'm saying, it's good music, I don't care how you get it, you want to buy it out the store, cool, want to buy it off iTunes, cool, you want to download it off LineWire, cool, I don't give a damn. You know what I'm saying? Just get it. You pass it on. You know what I'm saying? Each one teach one. You know, put them on the good music. And it is what it is. Hopefully, we see you at a show one day. No doubt, man. I know definitely people want to know about the whole Ninth Wonder thing. You know what I'm saying? You guys aren't, you know, you guys aren't together no more in terms of this album. Uh, you guys want to explain that? Um, It just got to a point where it just wasn't working no more. You know what I'm saying? It just ain't make no sense for us to keep trying to force something that wasn't there. You know what I'm saying? Both uh, personally and professionally, it just it made no sense anymore. So um, we decided to go our separate ways, and, you know, he's doing his thing, and, you know, we're still doing ours. So y'all want to give any shout-outs or just, uh, you know, how people can contact you? Um, you can check us out, myspace.com slash littlebrother. Um, it's the Little Brother page, and we each got our own personal page. Uh, myspace.com slash, is it Tigolo? Fontigolo, um, then backslash myspace.com backslash rapper big pool. Come check us out. Um, LBMusicOnline.com that'll be up very soon, hopefully. <laughs> Never know. Shout out to Jay Nash. Though. Yeah, shout out to my man Jay Nash and Jay Styling. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Classic. Hey, hey, we love what you do, baby. Oh, oh, oh. Classic. Fucking classic. Um, Shout out to all the people, you know what I'm saying? And, 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 uh, Trackademics, shout out. You know what I'm saying? Shadow, ain't he in the bank? DJ Shadow. DJ Shadow, what up? Um, oh, my man Mush and Slow on, what up? Oh, yeah, what up, what up? Uh, my man Casual, you know what I'm saying? The whole high road crew, what up, what up? And shout out to everybody else in the Bay, man, that's supporting Lil' Brother, been supporting Lil' Brother. Thank y'all, you know what I'm saying? Hope y'all keep supporting us, keep supporting good music. Right.